Hi, welcome back. So we've been talking about uh, Microsoft Planner in the last few vlogs. So in yesterday's video, I had a small rant about uh, the lack of uh, search functionality within Microsoft uh, Planner. Anyway, uh, in today's uh, video, I want to cover uh, some best practice approach for dealing with files in Microsoft Planner. Within the tasks, uh, when you create a task, there's an option for you to actually attach uh, files to it. So let's look at how the functionality works and also discuss uh, some of the best practices that uh, I think are, are uh, you should follow. All right, uh, without further ado, let's jump in and have a quick look. All right, uh, so here we are uh, in the Microsoft Planner uh, interface. So here I'm actually logged into uh, logged in as Megan into one of the uh, event plans. And uh, within this particular event X uh, launch team, I've got multiple plans. So one of these uh, plans is event plan. So here I have a, a task called uh, main deck review, all right? So here I can actually attach, uh, the task is about reviewing a presentation, so I could actually attach a, a file to it. So uh, for that, uh, what you need to do is uh, just click Add Attachment, and then you have three options. One, file, you can actually upload a file from your computer. Um, two, you can, rather than adding a file, you could actually prefer to add a link, or you could actually use you know, grow and browse from SharePoint and add a file from there. Let's see how what happens when you actually add a file from uh, using the file option. So when you click a file, you you're taken into your uh, your desktop. You know, I'm I'm copying one of the files from the desktop, a a PowerPoint presentation. What it happens is, as you can see, it actually uploads to the SharePoint site. Uh, the this. Um, this particular plan is associated to. It goes to the Office 65 group. Uh, so let's look at where it actually ends up. So here I am in the in the launch team site, which is, the plan is associated with. If I actually go to the root of the shared documents, to the main documents library, here you can actually see the actual file has got uploaded to. That's the key thing that you need to keep in mind is, is any file uh, you attach to a task gets uploaded to the root of the document library. Okay, so that's what keep keep that in mind. So next up, what you can do though is um, instead of doing that, you can actually go and um, select a link. So link is essentially very straightforward. You could actually copy a uh, go to any of the uh, in a SharePoint or anywhere else. You know, if it's even in some other system, you could actually copy a link to it. Um, for example, in this case, I'm going to copy the uh, link to this plan here. What I can do is actually go copy link, go in there, paste that in, um, just make some slight edits to make it fit in the edit. So and give it a name. So it's just got in a plan, save. So here you can see there's a, it's actually added as a, as a link. All right. Um, Again, yeah, if the document is, is residing in a, a different cloud storage or in, in uh, on your website or something like that, you could actually use that option. But um, we looked at the file, then we, let's look at the SharePoint option. So when you click on SharePoint, what it does is it automatically brings up the um, uh, the, the shared documents for that particular uh, uh, associated with the Office 365 group. And here you can actually go and and, and, and choose the file from, from, from within. Uh, the SharePoint itself. So if I actually go into design, um, you can go and, and, and select one of the files. So um, and click save. So that way it actually adds, keeps a link to towards that, uh, that gives the ability to uh, go and browse from whichever location it is, okay? Uh, this is important because, you know, uh, based on the security permissions and the, the way you want it to, based on your information architecture, you could, you could have multiple subfolders or in, within the within the document library and you could have uploaded the, uh, the file there, right? So uh, using SharePoint is the best approach here, I, I, I would say, though there is some limitation with, uh, as, you, as, you, as you've seen before, as you've seen here, because when you click add attachment and SharePoint, it only brings up the, the single document library. There's no option for you to go and browse through different document libraries. If, if you have more than one document library within the Office 65 uh, SharePoint Online site associated with the plan, you can't go and uh, browse to it. 
in, in that case, probably use the link option. But if it is actually on the root, uh, the main document library, then you could actually go and browse to the particular location. And again, uh, if you if you if you're you know uh, want to make sure that the file is actually uploaded into the right information architecture, then then this is the right approach. Uh, See, so you use the attachment, a file attachment option where you can actually upload a file from SharePoint. Always remember it goes into the thing, uh, to the root of the document library where you may not actually have uh, uh, proper permission set up or, uh, you know, it's not in line with your architecture. Uh, but one thing, the main limitation with the file attachment uh, here in Microsoft Planner is, as you can see, when you're actually selecting the uh, SharePoint browser option, you're only getting uh, the view of a single document library. You can't actually go in a, a browse between multiple document libraries. That's a big uh, limitation in my book. So, and the other thing to note also is uh, you have this option called show on card. Uh, you can only select one show on card at any point in time. You can't actually have more, more than one. So once you do that, it ch changes, uh, it removes the previous one. So if you wanted to show one of the presentations, you can see there, there it is. It just comes up in the actual task view. There you have it guys, uh, that's a quick uh, overview of uh, dealing with file attachments in Microsoft Planner. My name is Jack Kakalapudi from modernwork.cloud. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos in the coming days. Cheers.